seven o'clock. You don't want to be late for that movie. Vicky, mm -hmm. I got to ask you a question. I've been wrestling with it all afternoon and I just got to know. What is it? What do you think of Kojak? <laughs> Kojak? Yeah. Didn't you find him attractive, even sexy? Can Kojak wait? I don't think so. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Come on in. Take off your hat and make yourself comfortable. My hat? Yeah. Well, okay. Well. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a riot. <laughs> you remember that time he came to pick me up and you were dressed as a, as, as a cone head? <laughs> we were lucky that car had a sunroof. Thank <laughs> you. It looks so real. <laughs> it feels so real. I guess I should have warned you instead of springing it on you like this. Oh. You know what? You look, um, distinguished. Yeah, you look distinguished. Ooh, <laughs> what a relief. I thought you'd be upset. <laughs> upset? Me upset? Why would I be upset? <laughs> I'm not upset. <laughs> Great. This is wonderful. I should have done this years ago. Years ago. <laughs> Vicky, there's something very important I want to say to you. Oh, this is probably a good time for me to leave. You, you stay, stay put. put. <laughs> Vicky, I haven't stopped thinking about you since high school. For all those years, every, every woman I ever dated, I always compared her to you. Well, time for dessert. <laughs> dessert? You haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, actually, I'm feeling very sick. And I, 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 I want to lay down and, excuse me, um, you two, you two have dinner. I'm, I'm going to lay down. And you were worried. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's, that's why it. I don't understand what Vicky's problem is. Because it doesn't bother me if a guy's bald, as long as he's not gay, not married, and chemical free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when did you add not married to your list? <laughs> After last night? Ooh. <laughs> I remember what my mama said about bald men. What? Let them marry their own kind. <laughs> I just don't understand why he wore a toupee in the first place. It is so dishonest. One should at least have the decency to present themselves as they really are. Oh, Jesse, that reminds me. Those false eyelashes that you ordered came in. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I think everybody wants to look the best they can. You know, my neighbors, the Elliots, they all got faceless. People do want to look good. Yeah, but have you seen some of the toupees these men wear? Most of them don't even fit right. Girl, I know what you mean. I had a date once take me to a tennis match. He was looking one way and his hair was looking the other way. I'm sorry, but you know if a rich, eligible man walked in here wearing a squirrel on his head, you'd be the first one beating the nuts. Ooh. You got that right. <laughs> No, but no, really, for real, whatever our opinions are, let's keep them to ourselves because Vicky is having a difficult enough time dealing with this. I'm serious, she would not we even do. eat dinner. Well, no, 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 well, has the order of the big mouths reached its decision yet? I resent that. We weren't even talking about you. Well, I just want everybody to know that I simply had a headache. There is no problem. There is nothing wrong. I look forward to having a good day and will continue to have a wonderful life. Good morning, all. Good morning, Lamar. Lamar, what happened? It's all over. 
We found the defendant guilty and the judge put him away for a long time. Well, he must have been crushed. Not really. He said after starring in 15 porno movies, he could use the rest. Hard to resist, isn't it? Vicky, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Vicky, are you sure you're all right? I'm all right. Don't you see what this means? You are having a problem dealing with Clark's baldness. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm not that shallow. I support PBS. I want to save the whales. Then you explain it. Okay. So I saw something that wasn't there. Maybe it was something I ate. You know, Vicky, whenever I see things that aren't there, I try to make friends with them. I once helped a woman who had a problem dealing with baldness. Really? What did you do? I made her buy a wig. Come on, Vicky. If you just get it out in the open, then you can deal with it. Deal with it? She can't even say the word. Yes, I can. Well, go ahead and say it. Oh, y'all are just See. being silly. Come on, look, I'm fine, really. Hey, there's no problem. There's nothing to talk about. Vicky. What? All right. Okay. Flowers for Miss Vicky St. James. Oh, I'll take them. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I'll give them to her myself. Oh, they're beautiful. They're from Clark. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> Thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, hey, one little measly dollar don't give you the right to insult me. Yo, my man, if you stick around, there's another ten in it for you. Hey, look, I'm a delivery man, not a stripper, Graham. And that was a wise choice. <laughs> look, all I want you to do is just stand there. Can you handle that? Yeah, but I ain't got all day. Gee. <laughs> Vicky, uh, now come on. The only way you're going to deal with this thing is if you face it head on. Mm -hmm. No, no, come on. I want you to look at him. Imagine he's Clark. Uh, the name is Bernard. Then give me back the 10. <laughs> My friends call me Clark. <laughs> now, look at Clark. Clark, tell me what you see. Yvonne. Come on, just oh, go with on, me. What do you see? see? Look at him. Well, I... I see a nicely dressed man. Come on, Vicky. What else? <laughs> He's got a good smile. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. Come on. He's kind of tall. Vicky, Vicky say, say it. it. Vicky, say, say it. it. Vicky, say it. Go ahead, say it. I can't. Yes, you oh, can. Oh, look, lady, I got a delivery to make. Say Just it. say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. He's... Bald! Yeah! Yeah. He's a skinhead. Oh, a melon head. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like putting two fingers up his nose and one in his mouth and rolling oh, it down in his head. Lady, once it started going, there was no stopping it. Oh, Clark, don't you see what this means, Clark? You are not 18. Yeah, well, you're not exactly one of the Cosby kids either. <laughs> Thank you. Vicky, are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? Vicky? What is going on with you? Clark 
Jack's not 18 anymore. Okay. I'm with you so far. <laughs> well, if Clark's not 18, then I'm not 18. This has been the case for some time now. <sighs> Why can't things stay the same? If they did, you would be underage. You wouldn't have your own apartment and you'd have to be in by nine. It's been a long time since I've really been interested in a guy. And here comes Clark back in my life again. And, and I start having all those feelings that I had back in high school. And now they're gone, along with his hair. <laughs> Okay, so his hair is gone. So those feelings from school are gone. But you can always have new feelings. I don't want new feelings. I want the old feelings. I want the clock that gave me that ring. Well, that clock is back in high school, and so is the girl he gave that ring to. Now, you're thinking about Mr. Yesterday, and you're about to let a good man get away. Yeah, but... Look, oh, just forget it. I mean, what does it matter? So what? I mean, heh, he's intelligent, sensitive, caring, gainfully employed. I mean, like every other man we go out with on Friday and Saturday nights. So what? Hey, just forget it. I understand. Throw that fish right back into the sea. Okay. I can't go back. No. But you can still go out. You know something? You really are a good sister. How much I owe you for this session? Nothing. I just want to marry you off and get you out the apartment. <laughs> So you don't think this is a mistake? That kiss didn't seem like a mistake. Good. So I don't have to break out my dime king wig? <laughs> Clark. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about the silly little thing that used to bother me. You're right. So I won't even mention anything about the silly little thing about you that bothered me. Good. Then we understand each other. Mm -hmm. What's that silly little thing about me that bothered you? <laughs> it's 9.30. I better get going if I'm going to catch my plane. So we still on for dinner next Friday night? Definitely. What's a silly little thing? Nothing. Uh, 7.30, okay? 7.30 is fine. I gained weight. That's it, isn't it? Oh, look, forget about it. Really, it was nothing, okay? Forget it. I'll see you next Friday night. Okay. Bye. Clark? Clark? Clark, you can't leave me like this. Oh, come on, Clark. Come on, tell me, what is it? Huh? Bushy eyebrows? Ingrown toenails? Dispen hands? Clark! I know what it is. You do what is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Clark! 